Good morning. How are you? It is Saturday afternoon here in Ontario, Canada at a undisclosed location in my studio with my coffee uh, as uh, we get ready to play Dead Space 2. I almost said Dark Space 2. I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's because I played Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and all the bosses in Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3 that I've said Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3 so much that I'm just used to saying when it's a when it's DS, I want to say Dark Souls. I usually catch myself by space, but I end up spitting out dark. But it's Dead Space 2. We played Dead Space 1 in hard mode and beat it. And uh, throughout the entire game, which was great, uh, I was lacking materials. Throughout the entire game, I was short materials, mostly health kits. Now we're in Dead Space 2. A lot of people in chat who have played the game before suggested playing it in normal mode just so that you could have more of a story flow and not have to be so on vapors all the time. So that's what we're doing. We're playing Dead Space 2 in normal mode um, and there is definitely more loot. Um, they still don't drop a whole lot of health, although I have the most powerful suit you can get in the game now. I have upgraded my combat suit and I've upgraded the upgrades on the combat suit to the maximum amount of hit points I can have on the suit. Um, the story thus far is that this uh, character that we're playing, Isaac Clark, uh, was one of the engineers who created a thing called the Marker. The Marker being a religious artifact that is part of the Uni Unitarian Church. Um, which seems to be some kind of cult-like church where basically they think that you're going to become one with the marker after death and ascend into a greater reality. The truth of it is, is that the marker uh, is some kind of alien artifact and uh, you get infected with a virus and you become uh, this hideous monster that runs around killing people. So uh, Isaac Clark has been uh, made aware of the realities of all of this. His head and his mind is all affected by all of this. His girlfriend, his first girlfriend, Nicole, was uh, affected by it. She killed herself and was absorbed by the alien marker artifact. Uh, she's been haunting him throughout this game as he woke up in a psychiatric wing of a hospital in a space station that is orbiting Saturn. Are you following all of this? And uh, he has been trying his hardest uh, since the aliens took over the space station and been, have been killing everyone, wrecking everything and destroying the place to make his way to the marker to destroy the marker. He found a guy who named Strauss who knows how to destroy the marker but is crazy in the head. And uh, he ran into another girl named Ellie who was coming to the space station on a ship that got overtaken by the aliens who was a uh, pilot. <clears throat> and uh, is familiar and works for CEC, the company that developed the station. So she's familiar with the layout of the station. Um, and these three people, this unlikely trio, have been trying to battle their way to the location of the marker to destroy it. Now, the person who runs the station, um, the commander of the station, and his armed guards, security guards, don't want the marker destroyed because they still believe in the church. They still believe in the value of this marker. So they're doing everything they can do to stop our trio from getting there. Um, where we are now is at the point where we're near, I think, endgame. I could be wrong. But we're at the point where Isaac is uh, very close to discovering where the marker is being held. And uh, he has had a few battles and confrontations uh, with uh, the commander of the base and the commander of the base's um, armed guards who are protecting the marker. Uh, basically, the way he overcame them was to open up. They sealed themselves off from the aliens uh, and sealed themselves in with the area where the marker is. And basically what Isaac did was he overrid this, overrode the system so that all the aliens could invade their space. And basically the aliens have gone in and done all the dirty work. They've killed all of the uh, armed guards. God knows if they took out the commander of the base. Probably not. He's probably in hiding or sealed himself in somewhere else. The woman that we were with, <clears throat> Ellie, uh, said she found a, a ship that we could escape on and we should escape on the ship and forget about this marker business and all of that. She got the ship primed and ready to go, but Isaac, who was still uh, shoreside, if you like, he was still inside the station, uh, undocked the ship and launched it and sent her away and said, no, you save yourself. 
Um, I know I'm on a suicide mission, but I, I have to get rid of this marker. This marker has to go, otherwise it's going to spread more evil. So he's basically doomed himself uh, to uh, die with the marker when he destroys it, unless there's some unknown way off the station that we haven't found. The crazy guy, Strauss, who knows how to destroy the marker, uh, went literally crazy. He, he, before Ellie got on the ship to uh, be launched into space by Isaac, uh, he basically jabbed a screwdriver into her face and pulled one of her eyes out on the screwdriver. Um, he was running amok, and he was basically looking. She she broke free from him and obviously escaped on the ship. He was running amok, running around the station looking for me, probably to try to kill me. We ran into him in an elevator shaft or in a, waiting for an elevator, and basically we got into a fight, and I stuck the screwdriver that he had in his hands through his brain, and I think killed him because I left him there... Um, with the screwdriver sticking out of his head on the floor. So I th we think he's dead, we think Ellie's gone, and it's just us and the marker and the commander of the base trying to protect the marker, whatever armed guards he has left, and the area, which is called the government sector, which is where it's all located at. Now we're working our way through the government sector, and uh, we're sh we should be very close to probably what I think is going to be a final confrontation with the commander and a chance to destroy the marker. One of the other problems that we have is that this religious artifact, the marker, we personally don't know how to destroy it. We found out throughout the game that we were kind of like a brainwashed engineer that had been one of the people that had helped create a man-made version of the marker. And uh, that was a surprise to us. Uh, we didn't realize how involved in this whole story we were. Um, but we don't know how to destroy the marker. The guy who knew how to destroy the marker was another guy, Strauss, the crazy guy that we met in the hospital, but we had to kill him. We had to put him down. So now we're left in a situation where we're going to have to figure out how to destroy this marker because we ourselves don't really know how to do that. I think that pretty much recaps the story thus far. That's what we're doing today. We're going to keep pushing forward in the government sector. We're going to look for this marker. We're going to look for this commander of the base and any men that he has left. Try to get them uh, taken out of commission and figure out a way to destroy this marker. Maybe even save ourselves. I don't know. Maybe reunite with Ellie. I don't know. Maybe have some reconciliation with Nicole or what is left of Nicole as, after she killed herself and was absorbed by this marker because she became this sort of um, uh, haunting stocky demon in our heads that kept showing up and scaring the crap out of us telling us to make us whole and to basically I think she wanted me to kill myself and join her in the marker but we don't believe that's really her we just think that's the marker trying to use her to convince us to kill ourselves so that we won't destroy it the marker being that being the marker however we um, had a heart to heart with this demon this demon being that uh, uh, takes the um, form of Ellie and maybe some of Ellie was left because uh, what we said to this demon being of Ellie seemed to snap the real Ellie out of this demon being and now we have this apparition which looks much more like normal Ellie who seems to be helping us I don't know if that's the case um, if any of this and all of this seems abstract to you I'm sorry I'm not very good at explaining or recapping things but the bottom line is there's this thing we need to destroy. There's this former girlfriend who is dead, but the ghost of her is, has two forms, a good form and an evil form, and it seems like the good form is appearing to us right now and helping us out. That's basically it. Hey, how are you, how are you doing? <laughs> Anime stream when? <laughs> hey, Denifel, good to see you in chat. I was just doing a quick recap of Dead Space as I understand it um, up till now, and I'm about to drop myself into the corner and start up the game. We're in the government sector. Uh, and we're going to get going. Let's get going. We have 45 deaths on the death counter, which is considerably better than, uh, than last game where I was in hard mode. And by this time, we probably had about 180 deaths on the death counter. So we're doing a lot better. Cheers and sociable to you, Denifel. Hope you're having a good day. It's a little, uh, it's afternoon here, but it's a little early for me in the morning because uh, I did a late night stream last night doing Friday night free roll with Red Dead Redemption. Um, again, I got sidetracked in that game and uh, tried to do some missions with a really bad horse, and the horse kept bucking me off. And uh, I couldn't. I was supposed to catch up to this train and shoot the bad guys on the train, and my horse was so bad I couldn't even catch up the train. You played Valkyria Chronicles four all day. I uh, just in honor of you, Denifel, I was on Steam 
and I clicked on uh, they had an ad or something for Valkyria Chronicles, and I clicked on it, and I saw all the anime, and I went, okay, that's enough for me. <laughs> but I did click. I at least clicked it. I at least clicked it. But that's about as far. <laughs> that's about as far as I got. <laughs> Is it good? Are you enjoying it? You having fun with it? Does it live up to your expectations? Did you play? I'm assuming if it's Valkyria Chronicles four. There's the Valkyria Chronicles 1, 2, and 3. Did you play those? How does it live up to expectations? And let me get the <clears throat> let me get Dead Space going here. You did? And it lives up. It's good. It compares favorably. It's an excellent game. Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, all right, let's get Dead Space started so that it'll capture. <clears throat> All right. Did you see that? I guess they're having some growing pains in TwitchCon this year. Did you see? Did you were you following any of that? Any of the drama that's going on? There's a bit of drama this year. Um, I was. Uh, I had considered going to TwitchCon this year, but I decided I won't go this year. I'm definitely going to go next year to TwitchCon, and uh, I'm kind of glad in a way that I decided not to go this year because uh, it looks like they're having a few issues. Uh, and I wouldn't want to spend all that money to travel all of that way. You don't give a rat's ass about TwitchCon. Okay. Um, well, the, the issues they're having are they're holding it in San Jose, which is a much smaller venue than where they've held it previously. Can I, I... Oh, okay. Here we go. They're holding it in San Jose. Oh, actually, you know why? My controller's not on. Give me one second. Okay. Here, here, that should work. Okay. They're holding it in San Jose, which is a, which is has a convention center, but San Jose, California, is inland. It's not on the coast. It's not as big a destination as, say, San Francisco or San Diego or other places where they've held previous uh, Twitch cons. Uh, it has a convention facilities, but they're not as big. Uh, it's connected. The convention facilities are connected to the Marriott Hotel. Um, and it just so happens that most of the big streamers, most of the people that booked early, obviously booked in the Marriott because the Marriott is connected to the convention center. Not everyone, but a lot of people did. And the Marriott hotel system or hotel chain is having a strike. Ten properties are on strike, including the one in San Jose at the convention center. So, so everybody who's staying at the Marriott has to cross picket lines to get in and out of the hotel. And the hotel is being staffed by scab workers, so they're not get, they're not fully staffed, and they're not getting the uh, experience and expertise that they would have had had it not been under a strike condition. So there's that going on. So there's picket lines. There's noise outside with the picket lines. Um, it's not fully staffed. There's all that going on. And then on top of that, uh, the convention is itself. They had a record turnout, so the lineups for the uh, events are huge. And people are having trouble getting their passes. They buy three-day passes for $200 or a one-day or two-day pass, depending on how long they're going to be there. And there are these huge lineups to get into the events. And the lineups are so big and so long. And with um, raised security concerns because of, uh, you know, there's been a few shootings in the States recently, uh, some at conventions. Uh, they're checking bags and things like this with the raised security concerns it's taking a long time to get through the lines to get passes and a lot of people got shut out they never even were able to get into the convention like six hour lines they weren't even able to get into the convention for things that they'd paid to go and see so twitch tweet tweeted an apology for all of that and said they were going to give some refunds or they were going to give some extra days or extra hours or something i don't know exactly what they said but there yeah there's been a few growing pains so i'm kind of glad that uh I chose not to go to this year's event. Although I'm sure if you were able to get in, you were able to get to the events, they were probably awesome, and it's probably still awesome. Um, I'll wait and see if they uh, learn from their experiences, and maybe next year they'll bring it back to San Diego, or they'll take it to a bigger venue. I think they have to. They're growing so fast, uh, they need to take it somewhere where they can accommodate everybody. It's a bit of a guessing game, because they can't predict, uh, you know... Th the actual numbers they're going to get. And even if they guess big, they might find out that it's even bigger than that. All right, let's go. Let's continue the game. So we are at a save station. Uh, I think we already did all the buying and stocking up that we can do. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything... Is there even a store? Maybe not. There's not even a store in this area. So, oh, there is. It's over there. 
<clears throat> so let me look at my inventory and see what's up. So I have okay, so I have three medium med packs. I've got a stasis kit. I've got some uh, ammo. We've got decent supply of ammo. That should be good. I have my most my most upgraded suit. What do I have for credits? Can I see this better? I have 700 credits. So I don't have enough credits to really buy anything else. Um, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Let's just reload the let's reload the weapons and head out. So let's get the weapons reloaded. Get them all set up. All right, all the weapons are ready to go. Let's stick with the line gun for now um, and make our way into the new section, which is this way, I do believe. Okay, let's go. Call the elevator. All right, let's head out. <clears throat> I don't know how much uh, there's left in this game. I think this is chapter... Well, how does it tell us? I think this is chapter 12 we're on. How do I see that? Can I not see that here? Does it tell me here somewhere? Doesn't doesn't tell me the chapter there, does it? Chapter, oh, it's chapter 13 we're on. So we're on chapter 13. Okay, so we must have just started chapter 13. This is an interesting looking... Oh, there's the marker. We're, we've made it to the marker. There it is. Oh, my God. I built that. They never really explained why he doesn't remember what? building it. What are they doing? They're all coming to the marker. Convergence is at hand. I didn't hear trouble from the start, but they told me you were necessary. That your mind was the purest. I spent years sifting through your demented brain. This is not the way it was supposed to happen. Well, how was it supposed to happen, Tyman? We had it under control. Clark, this is not our fault. We are so close to understanding it. Oh, oh. It's all those bodies you let in here. It's triggering. But we never expected this many bodies. Oh! What the hell is it doing? What it was made to do, Isaac. You have to make us whole. That's Nicole, or what? Some kind of vision of Nicole. I think all of this is in my head. Not that, that but Nicole's in my head. I have to make them whole. I don't know what to do. You know what? While all the convergence and all that crazy shit's going on outside, I'm gonna loot. <laughs> I'm gonna loot. That's right. Oh, there's not much looting to do. That was about it. All right, we're going this way, I guess. Yeah. Let's go have a look at this thing. Something crazy's going on. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. We'll find out. Um. That's t I'm already topped up on stasis. This we'll have to fix. That's offline, so we're going to need a power cell. Let's uh, see. Oh, here's more loot. Grab, grab everything that we can grab before we get going, because... Lord knows we're going to need it. Another stasis pack. Good. All right. So now, are we supposed to do something with this? Probably. Activate. Just like Straw said. I remember this. The machine activates the parts of our brain where the marker codes are stored. But how does that threaten the marker? What were they afraid of? Me. Us. Working together. Step four. Yes. Are you ready? This is gonna hurt, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, a lot. Step inside. This is going to hurt a lot, Isaac. Get inside, Isaac. Trust her, Isaac. All the women in this game have betrayed you, other than Ellie. She's the only one yet that hasn't betrayed you. Step one, crawl inside. Step one, Step crawl inside. Two. This screws so tight. All around. 
Oh, ow. Ow. What the shit? Okay, wait. I'm supposed to control the needle? What, am I supposed to keep tracking his eye? And then shoot or something? Is that what I'm supposed to do? What am I supposed to do here? I can, I can track his eye, yes. So what? It goes blue. And what does that do for me? Am I supposed to lower it down or something? I'm supposed to lower it down. Okay, all right. I got it. We're going to stick a needle in his eye, boys. Oh, there's the needle. God, this, this is not easy. Calm down, Isaac. Let me just get this needle in your eye. How's that feel, buddy? Oh, God, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Oh. Well, what about the other eye? Just one eye? So now he's blind in one eye. Nicole. Where are you? Follow the light, Isaac. I'll be waiting for you at the marker. Well, what do I do? Follow the light. Follow the light, Isaac. Follow the light. Aren't we supposed to do anything with this? That's offline. Can we put it online and then do something with it? No. Shit. So I can't do anything with him? That sucks. All right, just get out of here. Wait, I can't get out of here. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, okay. All right, it's online now. All right, so stasis this guy. Stay, wait. Shoot him one more time. All right. So we got we to gotta shoot this guy. Right? Then, then get all the limbs off. Then stasis him and go over here and work on this. All right, I got it. Hurry. Hurry, Isaac. Isaac, hurry your ass up. Oh, come on. Isaac, come on. Where's he at? All right, he's got a limb off. Go, Isaac, go. Oh, come on, I had that down. All right, bring him over here. Heal up. Stasis, get over there. Finish up your job. Come on. Hurry. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get a stasis hit. Here we go. Go. No, I'm out. I'm out. All right. He's ha he has to go through the vents, no doubt, right? Let's heal. Grab some loot. Let's reload my gun. Let's get a grab a save. Uh, here. Now, now I'm a real pirate. Yeah, now I'm missing an uh, Now I'm missing an eye. I'm eyeless. I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'd have to put the patch on for sure. I don't know if I can see out of it still or not. Audio log. What's it say? Tideman, this evacuation is illegal. You know that. Don't you dare tell me what I can and cannot do on my own station. My grandfather was flooding this place long before you were crapping your diapers, young man. Specifically for this evacuation in the event of a breach. I have 
spent my whole life in service of this community, and I will not stand here and watch them die for some project protocol. Now get to your shovel. We can argue about this now in the court, assuming we both live to discuss your precious protocol. Very well, Sam. All right. So that was an argument between the commander. Shit. Oh, come on. Where'd that canister go? I was gonna use it. Okay, too late. He's here already. This line gun is not very strong. You know what? I'm getting rid of the line gun. It's not strong enough. It's just not strong enough. We never upgraded it. It's just not doing the job. It's just not getting the work done. Um, I need to reload this gun. How many shots do I have? 12? Okay, good for now. Uh, let's get the loot. Okay. Nothing I can do here at the moment. Anything else I can grab? Oh, I need this canister. I might need this for some reason. I want to hold on to this, I think. Let's put it by the door or nearby in case I need it. Like right now. Like right now! That didn't do shit. Didn't do shit. Take the guy's limbs off. Let's quick grab some stuff. Shit! What's that, more dudes? Cut this guy's legs off. How many of these guys are there? Oh, this is terrible. Get out of here. Now I'm all slowed down by the toxicity. Oh, you gotta be kidding. How many of you guys are there? You know, this gun is too slow. Okay, stasis this guy. I don't know what I gotta do over here, but I gotta figure it out. There's an audio log I never got. I need that too. There's an audio log over here. Grab that. Heal. Where's he going? I don't know. I don't care right now. Let's figure this out. What do I need? I need some dude. Now, what do I need over here? What does it say I need? No, no, no. Unauthorized rig. Who do I need? Who do I need? Some dude. Is there a dude hiding around that I missed? Is there a body in here that I didn't see? A person? I don't see it. What's that? No, that's a creature. Oh, there's a note here. Grab the note while I'm here. God. I don't see a person over here. I need a I need a person's body, apparently. Was there a person in the other room that I didn't see? Let's go look in the other room. Let's go look for this body. Is there a body out here? There's a body right here. It's gotta be this dude, right? Let's bring, does the creature come out the door? Can I bring that creature outside the door? Will he come out? Come on out. Will you come out? Come on out. Come on out here. There we go. Come all the way out. All the way out. There we go. Come on. Okay. That's good. Break off your limbs. I'll stasis you. Now we'll go. Get this body. Well, oh, come on, let me pick up the body now! Open the door, come through, turn, stasis you, grab this body, let's go. It's gotta be this body, there's no other body around. Hopefully. 
Where'd the body go? I dropped him. Oh god. Yeah, this, is, I, this must be the immortal one. This thing doesn't die. Where's the body that I dropped? Where's the body? Where did the body go? I had that body with me. Now it's missing. Do not tell me the body dropped through the earth. How did it end up over here? Honestly. Go. can't pick him up. You can take his arm away. You can't have this arm. What if I drop the arm over the side? Oh, he, can't, he grows another one. Okay. Now I gotta heal up. I don't have any more heals left. I gotta get him over here and stasis him up. Now I gotta go through that door so that he's trapped on this side of the door. No, no, you can't open the door. You're not, no way. No way, man. That's wrong. That's so wrong. He's not allowed to open the door. That's so wrong. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna trap him on the other door over here then. Two doors away. Let's put him two doors away. You know what? How about three doors away? Is he coming? Yep, shit. He's right here. Stasis. Go. Two doors will have to do. can't open the door, right? He can't open that, right? Safe. Hopefully he can't open that. Maybe he can, I don't know. Chapter 14, let's go. Someone play shooting stars? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that doesn't work. I have no health left. I'm in trouble. Oh, God damn you. Get frozen, bitch. Take what last little piece of health I have left. Just run, don't fight. Oh, come on, it's locked? How can it be locked? Power note. Take it. Health, hit it. How is this locked? Do I need the body? Oh god. Do I need the body? Oh, there's another way to go. Is there? Or isn't there? Shit! Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. Wow. Wow. He goes through vents. I guess he does. <laughs> Hi, D. Hayes. Good to see you, man. All right, so that's tricky. I'm low on everything. Which way do I go? I forget which way I go. This way. Right. Stasis, just run. Forget fighting. I have no health for fighting. There's health right there though. Is there? What's in here? Shit. Oh, you know what? Shit! Shit! What the hell am I gonna do here? Oh my God. There's no way. How many is there? There's the guy that doesn't die, and there's four super buff dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is rough. I need the buzzsaw. Oh, now there's... What the shit? Okay, I owe you four deaths. I owe you four deaths. What am I going to do, boys? I'm in trouble. I might have saved it in a bad spot with no health like this. Oh, I'm dead. Like, I'm, I'm one 
shot, I'm a one shot dead. I don't think there's a solution here. Maybe I have to like take a stand, not get sandwiched. What vent is he coming through? I'm one death. I'm one hit from death. <sighs> I don't think I. I don't. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go back for a previous save. What's this loot over here? Is it health? Please be health. Oh my god! Thank you. At least that saves me a little bit. All right. Now he's gonna come out of here, right? I need a better. I need a better weapon out. All right. Bring him over here. Stasis him. Saw his legs off. Now we run. Now we run. He's not going to stay that way for long. Stasis. Kill it. Grab the health. Grab the health. Okay. Now we got to stasis him again, this guy. Shit. Cut the legs off. And the arms and everything. Get him, get him really messed up. Come this way. All right, stasis. Cut the leg. Chop everybody up. Okay, stasis. Stasis. I don't have any stasis. Chop him down and run. Oh, here's stasis. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Hold that elevator. Get a little bit of stasis. Get a little bit. Run, the elevator's here, run. Go, go. Oh my God, we made it, sort of. Woo! Your name is in, in it. Inigo Montoya, you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> All right, let's hurry. We can need more health again. What's over here? Oh, he's bringing things to life. Don't do that. I need health. Oh, jeez. Get sawed, bitch. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I already stay. I'm dead. I'm so dead. How many things are in here? How you doing, uh, How you doing, Oblivion? Uh, it's not going good. <laughs> I'm getting wrecked. That's another death I owe you. How far back? All the way back to the save, probably, right? I'm going to have to fight my way through all of that again. Oh, man. Where, how far back is this? Oh, no, we got to the elevator. Okay, let's just stay at the elevator. That's at least decent. Here? I have no health for this. 
Please be health. A little bit, a little bit. I need stasis too. I have no stasis either. Do I, wait, do I have a stasis pack? I don't! Shit! Anti-gravity? All right, we're in anti-gravity now. Thank you. Whew. Now what? All right. We escaped that area. For now. Hiya. Now what? Okay. Up here? Where am I supposed to go? Over here. Okay. Was there any loot? I need loot, right? I don't have any stasis. I got a very, one shot of stasis. There's no boxes. There's nothing. I got to make sure not to get crushed by this thing. So should I, should I stasis it or can I just blast past it? I think I can just blast past it. I want to keep as much stasis as I can. Okay, there's no loot at all. So let's just keep moving. Now what? Blast past this one? Ah! What? What hit me? What hit me? Now what? My way up. Okay, now what? Oh, come on. What the shit? Okay, I did that wrong. Okay, that's a death. <laughs> so there's something over there that I'm going to have to destroy because it's going to attack me as we go. Increase the deaths. 52. Oof. All right. So hit the anti-gravity. So now the anti-gravity is engaged. Go. So now we want to go up here. I don't want to need to waste time looking for health and, and kits and stuff and boxes because there's none. Ah! What hit me there? Honestly, I went past it already. Now this part. Am I supposed to fight some creatures over there first? Can I... Ah! What? That's a death. Those things must be wider than I think, because I'm I keep thinking I flip I I flew past it. I keep thinking I flew past it, but apparently not. Alright, let's go. Is my saw reloaded? It is. So this thing here, right? Fly past it. Right? So you can fly past them. I just did it right there. Now this one here. I have to fight that thing spitting out all the enemies first, probably, right? Before I go there. So what weapon should I use? Pulse gun, I don't have enough energy. This thing, maybe? Can I use this? I can't stasis it. Can I reload this gun? Where is the thing? Over there. I don't think I can hit it from here. How? What is killing me there? I, What is killing me there? I'm flying by that thing, just like I flew by the first one. I owe you a death. What is killing me there, honestly? I flew by it, just like I flew by the first one. I don't understand what's killing me at that moment. Wait. Right? I fly by this, boom. Fly right by. No problem. Right? Now here's the second one, same as the first. Right? Go. Right? Okay, now we flew past. Okay, now. Now we gotta fight this thing over here before we go any further. There's two gone. Have any more weaponry? I got nothing to shoot with. This is impossible. I got nothing to shoot with. Is it down? It's not down. What am I gonna fight this thing with? Um, I don't have any of that. A line gun? The line gun, maybe? Reload it. 
Okay, it's reloaded. How many more of those left? I'm running out of time. 40 seconds on the clock. Uh, I have none of that left, none of that. I only have eight pulse shots in my entire arsenal left. Three. I got three shots left to do this. There's no way. What order do these things fire? Wow. I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think I can stand still and fight it. I have to fly and dodge and weave, because I don't have the weaponry to do it. I've got nothing left. Okay. So let's let this time. Let's try fight. Let's not fight anything. Let's just fly, like the wind, and duck and weave. Wait. Go. Straight across down wait wait now let's have a look at those things how do they fire top down one can't see I'm assuming one two three one two three up, up and down up and down go <gasps> honestly man how can I not fly by the second one when I'm flying by the first one no problem all right go again Let's go! Alright, go. 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 Stay down the bottom. How? How am I going to get through this area? I don't get it. How am I going to get through? Try again. We're going to rack all the deaths up right here. <laughs> Those things, as soon as they contact me, they're going to wreck me. I have no health. I don't think I can stay. I don't have much stasis. I have no stasis, virtually. I, I can't fly fast enough to outfly them. I can't. Oh, yeah. Is there another route? Am I going the wrong way? And I don't have any weapons to destroy that thing over there. I do I mean literally I've got nothing I've got four of these it's not gonna do the job <gasps> what hit me there what hit me I'm not even near it what's hitting me what what hit me again Not asking any questions, I'm just running. Just running. I got no health. I think I got really lucky, boys. I'm not questioning it. What? What? I think I got really lucky there, and I'm not questioning. Oh, for the love of God, I don't need credits. I need health, boys. I need, I need health. What do I have for weaponry? Let's take stock while we have a quiet moment. I got uh, 17 of these. I got four. <laughs> I've got two saw blades. And I got four gun... 
<laughs> I guess the thing I have the most of is this, right? 17 of these. All right. So we got a minimal bit of health. Stasis is our friend. My God, we need loot. What's that up there? That's a box I shot. Okay, let's go. Nowhere to go but here. A store? I don't even have any credits. Oh, do I have a node? I have a node. Oh, I have a node. I have a node. Oh, thank God. Please be, please be loaded. Please be loaded with stuff. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, the force node. It's still first playthrough. Power node. That's all. That's all that's in here. Are you shitting me? I spent a power node to get a power node. Are you shitting me right now? No hell. No nothing. That's the ultimate troll right there. That is the ultimate troll. Oh my god. <laughs> nothing gained, nothing lost. That's true, Oblivion. That's true. But man, that's a troll. Like, when you're so low on everything. And some saw blades is better. I suppose. I suppose it's better than nothing. But true, I did get saw blades. I should, I should reload that. <laughs> Wow, okay. All right, that's rude, man. That's rude. I need health so bad. I'm expecting my friend anytime soon, too. Power node. A store. I don't have much credits. Oh, I can upgrade something, too. All right, so I don't know what's this over here first. What's this? Save, definitely hitting that save station. Definitely hitting the save station because I don't want to go past that troll zone again. I think we got really lucky getting through there, so we're gonna grab this right now. Okay, uh, think now. I think I want to go with the bottom save. It doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. Let's go to the store. I don't have any credits, though. Maybe I should sell a bunch of shit now. Like, maybe I should sell some of those weapons I'm not using. Like the javelin thing. Like, I'm st I got all this stuff stored. Let's sell everything that I can. I'm not even using the flamethrower anymore. Let's sell as much stuff as we can. That's not for sale. Can't sell that. Oh, 25,000 credits. Needed badly. Everything else I can't sell, right? Nothing else I can sell, okay. Now, I've got 31,900 credits. I could sell some other weapons too. Is there a weapon here that I, this line gun, it's pretty useless, honestly. It's not really, it's not really, I didn't buff it at all. So it's not really very effective. But do I have, I don't even have any line gun ammo, right? I'm all out of ammo. So why spend money on more ammo than I need? Let's get rid of this line gun. That's another 10,000 credits for health. Let's sell that. Let's keep the pulse rifle, the forge plasma cutter, and the, and the ripper. Those are really good for different reasons. Right? So now we can go and buy some stuff. First up, let's go look at the nodes, the four nodes. Before we buy anything, let's look at the four nodes that I have. What could I do with this? Rig damage if I haven't done it yet. I think I've maxed it out. I think I did. Uh, damage is maxed out. Yeah, see, hit points and damage are both maxed out. Stasis is already all maxed out. I don't care about air, I don't think, on the rig. Um, the Ripper. I, got, I don't know. Let's see. Is there anything? I, what do I have? I have four nodes. So let's call it three nodes in case I run into another loot door, right? Is there any way I could do more, like with the Forge Ripper, which is a pretty good machine, I could get damage. I could increase damage here by using two nodes. And then another node for capacity. So I could increase the capacity and the damage with the Ripper. With the Pulse Rifle, capacity and damage. That's what I'm thinking, Hato Force. That's what I'm thinking. The other option would be the Pulse Rifle. I could, no, see, I, I can't. Reload speed, who cares? One, two, three, I could do alt fire, which I've never used, so I, I don't think that's worth it. I'm thinking, uh, and then what's the last one? The plasma cutter. Plasma cutter, 
No, that's I'm way off everything on that. So the best the best choice is here. So uh, let's go with uh, capacity and uh, let's go with damage. So there we go. Well, I increased the capacity and the damage of the Ripper. And I still have a node left for a loot door. All right, now, now we're gonna go here. <clears throat> Let's buy some stuff. So I've got 41,900. Um, Let's start with health. We definitely need health. First of all, we gotta get ourselves healthy. So, stores a large amount of health. Where's my health status at right now? I'm about half, a little under half, right? So a medium would probably put me put me to rights. So let's grab a medium to let's grab one medium to get myself back to more or less healthy. Then let's put a let's put uh, three mediums in reserve. So we got we got we'll get ourselves healthy and we'll have three on tap. Let's buy a bunch of pulse rifle ammo. Uh, no, let's buy. Well, we're going to buy a bunch of every kind of ammo. That's 1,200. That's 1,250. And where are the Ripper Blades? They're 1,350. So buy one of those. One of those. Just cycle it around. One of those. 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 So now, <sighs> pulse rifle is good. Just keep cycling it round. This is the last one. I don't want to buy this one. Let's buy more pulse rifle. Because it's a rapid shooter. There we go. All right, now let's get ourselves healthy. All right, so now I've got I've got three health kits in backup, decent amount of ammo, so to speak. Let's move the no. Let's leave let's leave all the am, let's leave all the weapons where they are because I'm my my memory is used to where they are, and let's grab a save at that point. Let's reload the weapons. That's reloaded. Reload this thing. Let's reload this thing. Okay, everything's loaded up. Let's grab a save. Top save, I guess. You should do a second playthrough and check uh, out how OP you are. Really? Will I be super OP? Probably not that OP will I be. You are s s upgrade the, the rifle, not the ripper. I looked at that, D. Hayes, but I had to use all of my nodes. If I wanted to upgrade the rifle, I had to use all my nodes. And I wanted to keep one node. Uh, I wanted to hold on to one node in case there was a loot door. The ripper won't help you from here on. Really? It won't? It won't help me from here on? You s really? The ripper? The ripper is so good, though. It's such a... Chops the legs off everything so well. He's saying that I'm not going to get. See, now I'm tempted, but you're saying to Hayes, I'm tempted to sell it and, and maybe buy more pulse ammo and stuff. This, uh, make this a separate save in case this strategy sucks. <laughs> maybe your strategy will be good and you will suck. Probably both, a little of both, Wolf. Probably a little bit of both. Well, here's a question then. Do you think I should sell the Ripper, D. Hayes? Do you think I should sell it? Buy a node and upgrade the... How much could I get for the Ripper? I just bought all that ammo, damn it. Um... Would it be worth it, though? 35,000. It'll work. Uh, just the monsters here. Let's make the Ripper, the Ripper makes it more difficult. It's just the monsters here is make the Ripper, make it more difficult. It's more difficult to use the Ripper, is that what you're saying? 
Well, I mean, if it's more difficult to use the Ripper, I could sell it. And then buff the pla- uh, I'd get- What would I get? I could get- How- Well, let me look at the plasma rifle. How many nodes would I need to upgrade the plasma rifle? Um, the pulse rifle, I would need two nodes to get extra damage, four nodes for extra capacity and damage, right? Any way you slice it, I need four nodes. So I'd need to buy three nodes to get more capacity and damage, or I could just increase damage and not increase capacity. Um, maybe just increase damage. So two nodes. I need two nodes. That's 20 grand. If I keep a node. Alright, so let's do it then. Let's try it out. Dehaze, in honor of you being in chat, here's, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna sell this. Sell the blades. We'll need them now. Let's buy uh, two nodes. Um, or should I even bother buying two nodes? Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just use... You can do it with most any weapon. Maybe I should just not buy the node. Run with no nodes and not carry a node with me? Do you think that's a stupid idea? I, I'm seeming to run into a lot of nodes on the playthrough. Maybe I'll just do... You know what? Let's run with no nodes. Let's just... Let's not spend the 10 grand on another node. We'll probably get a node somewhere. Uh... So two nodes. Let's increase damage. All right, increase damage. That way, I'll have an extra ten grand for ammo. All um. So now we want to buy ammo for the pulse rifle. Might as well get some more health while I'm at it. There we go. There we go. Alright, so here's what we got. Here's what we got. We got... Um, we got lots of health. Five vials of health. Lots of pulse rifle ammo. And the cutter. That's what we got. No nodes. 25 credits. Let's use up the cutter first. And I'll do it as a bottom... I'll do it as an alt save so that we can always come back pre before we sold it, right? We can, I'll do it as a bottom save so that if, it, it's, if it's shitty, we can come back to the top save. The top save is before I sold. So the bottom save is after the sale. The top save is before the sale. Okay. Let's go. That's bitter. Okay, let's 
Let's look for some loot. Health kit, nice. Health kit, two medium health kits. Wow, that was nice. Let's ha let's uh, not use one. Let's not use anything yet. Who's that? Where are you? Where are you spitting at me from, you bitch? I just got so up top. Oh, jeez. Jesus, dead. <laughs> Shit. All right, try again. Mm. All right, let's go. Owe you a death for that. I owe you a death for that. Let's keep rolling. All right. shooting me from where how are you shooting me so from so far away honestly it's way the hell over there and he's shooting me of course now I get bullshit whereas last time I had two medium health kits out of that No stasis left. Ah! Oh, he still tags me. Just run, just run. Just run. Don't stop, don't fight. Just run. coming is he just run ah oh, shit God. 
Get off me! Get off me! Bullshit. Just run. How did he spit? Oh, this dude spit. Now I'm all in slow mode. God damn it. Hurry up. No! Come on. Just go. Ay, caramba. <laughs> okay, here's this is third save. Shit! You bitch! What now? What do I gotta do now? Hack something? Oh my god, come on. My stasis doesn't last long enough and I have it boosted to max. I could use some loot. Oh, it's just a maze? It's just like a maze to, to trick you? Just run, just run. Oh, what now? Oh, it's the commander. Ow! <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, oh. Break his arm off. Rip it. Oh, yes. Do I get to keep the javelin? It'd be awesome if I get to keep it considering I just sold it. Do it. Do it. Oh, yeah. Nice moves. Make us whole, make us whole. Shoot her with the javelin. Shoot her with the javelin. Thank she's you, not, Isaac. she's not real, now, Isaac. Time to die. What? Told you, Isaac, she was faking you. Oh. Told you, Isaac. You should have killed her, Isaac. You mean me? But Strauss said we could destroy the marker. Not if we can shoot you first. God damn it, I trusted you. Fuck you. And fuck your marker. I told you, Isaac.
Am I dead? I can't let her grab me, can I? Oh! No, no. Oh, Isaac. Okay. Oh, gross. Oh, Isaac. I think that's a fail, guys. So we can't let her touch us, right? We got to knock her down. That opens up the marker. Then we got to shoot the big glowing thing in the marker and then redo it and redo it and redo it kind of thing. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. How far back is this going to be? Probably in the final fight, is it? Yes. Okay. So... Alright, now we go here. We gotta fight little kitties for a while? Touch you, Isaac. Where is she? Where is it? Where is it? No, no, let her touch you up. God damn it, she touched me. <laughs> ah. Damn it, she got a hold of me. Oh, boo. She got a hold of me again. I owe you a death. I owe you a death. Okay, so I think I understand what to do. I think I understand the mechanic. Just don't let her get a hold of you, that's all. Marker destroyed? Not yet, probably. Is it? No? I gotta get out of here now. Health. Can't do health. Look at my health. I have no control right now. Good call on the pulse rifle, D. Hayes. It worked well. For that part, definitely. Is that... I don't have any control right now, so maybe this is just an ending scene. Yeah, the pulse was beastly for that, DeHaze. Oh, it's done. Oh, that's it. Wow. So Isaac is going to die? I mean... 
I guess there must be more. We're gonna, is the station gonna blow up and we're just gonna see You complete bastard. Was this your great plan? Dump me off and die? Or is she gonna come pick him up? She's a pilot. Here's another one. I'm crashing through the roof to get you. Now move your ass. Wait, no, no, Ellie, it's too late. So clear the station. Yeah, well, you don't really have a say this time. Heads up. Oh, I'm gonna fly? Do I have to control it? No. Or do I have control? I do have control. Okay. So what am I doing? I'm gonna follow the ship. Not get hit by debris. Try to... <laughs> and Isaac... <laughs> and Isaac buys it. And she risks her life for nothing. <laughs> That's another death, boys. Right there. We'll get we'll log that one in a minute. I'm not I didn't know I had control. I didn't know they were gonna have a cutscene. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess follow the ship, is it? I don't know, like I can hardly see. Alright. There we go. Try it. Try it. Okay. Woo! <laughs> no, I, I knew I had control when I said I had control. I meant before that. I didn't know. I thought it was all cutscene. And then I was like in panic mode. <laughs> this harlot steals his soul and has to come save her. So, Isaac, are you going to try... Look at his eye. Why is his eye in, like, perfect shape? Did it get fully repaired after the destruction of the marker? Watch, she's going to bite him. She's been affected. Every woman has betrayed you, Isaac. Every single one. What? <laughs> and you know that's what he's thinking. You know that's what he's thinking. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that was cool. Let me add the death. Let me add the death. I owe you another death. So 62 was the final tally. You know what? I probably missed a few along the way. Let me round it up, make it easier to remember. Let's call it 70. Gifts, gifts for chat. There you go. 70. Let's go with that. So about 70, about 70 deaths. About 70 deaths. Um, to complete the game. Wow! D. Hayes, hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Just so you know, D. Hayes, every other Friday, I do a $40 Canadian PayPal giveaway uh, to people who follow the channel. So now you're following, you're included in that. So November the 2nd, Friday. Don't forget, if you're here on that Friday, I do a keyword giveaway to the followers, $40 on the PayPal. Oh, that was fun. That was good. I didn't expect it to end so soon. I didn't expect it to end so fast. Uh, and then I stay up all night Friday. That's right. Then Friday night, I do a nighttime stream. We're playing Red Dead Redemption. I got super sidetracked on my last stream, and I had a shitty horse. Uh, you only slept from 4 to 7 after watching me, Wolf? Oh, <laughs> three hours of sleep? Wow. <clears throat> well, I'm streaming today. I streamed yesterday, and then I streamed yesterday night. Then I had a quick sleep. Then I got up, got this switched over for for Dead Space uh, 2. And then uh, after we finish streaming today, I go to work myself and I work all night to come back and stream tomorrow. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm gonna let the credits roll. Let's take an early break. Um, actually, you know what? Let, let the credits roll. What I'm, I, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna switch over to another game. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to restart the stream. So here's my plan. I'm going to let the credits roll to the end because I always like to let the credits roll. Um, and then we'll take the break. And what I'll do is, for the break, I'll shut the stream down for about five minutes um, to get the game switched over. And then uh, I'll bring it back up uh, with the new game. Um, that, way, that way we can take the break while I'm switching it over. 
Uh, I'm thinking about doing Dying Light. You guys interested in Dying Light? I want to play through Dying Light. It's another scary game, right? I have a copy of that ready to go. It's loaded on Steam. I can get that set up pretty fast. I've never played it. And uh, I resolved the issues with it being laggy. We were going to play it for a Friday Night Free Roll one time. And I couldn't get it working because uh, it was laggy. But I've resolved that issue. So uh, why don't we do that? Why don't we play Dying Light? Dying Light's fun. A lot of people said Dying Light's good. Don't do it on hard. The zombies end up being sponges. Okay. Well, we'll do it on a normal playthrough. It looks like it's got a good storyline. Uh, a lot of people said they wanted to see a playthrough of it. I tried to do it for Friday Night Free Roll, and uh, it kept on being super stuttery and super laggy. But I think I, I'm pretty sure I've resolved that issue. Um, I did a couple of test runs of it, and it was running fine. So I'm going to let the credits run to the end, because I always like letting the credits run to the end of games that I play. And then uh, we'll take our break. And what I'll do is I'll shut the stream down. I'll quickly set Dying Light up and then bring the stream back up. Um, and that will be our first break of the day, and we'll go through Dying Light. And that way I can start it as a fresh stream for my uh, VODs and stuff, too. That was a fun game. I enjoyed this. What, what were your guys' opinion of this compared to Dead Space 1? You know, who likes 1 better than 2? Who likes 2 better than 1? Or do you compare them equally? Or how do you guys feel about it? Seventy deaths. That's not bad. <clears throat> you liked uh, you like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. Remember that old commercial? Uh, I like. I think for me, I think Dying Light One had more spooky atmosphere. I think Dying Light One had a spookier atmosphere because everything is new. You don't know the mechanics. You don't know the storyline, don't really know a lot of the game. So not only are you immersed in the sort of spooky, dark atmosphere of the game, but you're learning the game as you go. So you're really, you're really um, immersed. Um, in Dying Light 2, you already know the mechanics. You know what you're going to be doing and how to expect it. So you're not as immersed. But the graphics and the sound, the gore, the blood, the action was hyped in Dying Light 2. Yeah, you see the same thing, Oblivion. Dying Light 1 was slightly creepier. And Dying Light 2 was a big improvement. I'll tell you, I like the gravity suit a lot better in Dying Light 2. The way you could fly around and stuff. I like the uh, the UI a lot better. Where instead of it being all text, you had to read all the text and scroll through it to find... like There was a couple of times in Dying Light... Uh, Dying Light, listen to me. A couple of times in Dead Space 1 where I'm in the store. Like, I'm... There was a scene, right? Remember with that, that creature that hunkers down and you shoot it in the back? Remember that section? And I had no health or anything, and I knew that there was a store in the room and I could go to the store. So I was trying to stasis the character, the creature, run to the store, go and buy some health, boost up my health, and then keep fighting the creature. And I had to scroll through the text to find the health. Whereas in this game, it's it was uh, icons, so you could quickly find it. I like that too. I like that better. And they got rid of the map. Remember the map in Dead Space 1, how bullshit it was? You click on it and it was all like 3D and you couldn't see where you were. They totally got rid of the map in Dead Space 2. The music was good. I like Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2... Dead Space 2 would be good. I think, you know, if you, if you played Dead Space 2 without playing Dead Space 1, you would probably really like it because you'd have that immersion, that learning curve. You don't... you. Because you would, you, if you didn't play Dead Space One, you'd have to, you wouldn't know any of the mechanics, you wouldn't know anything. So you'd be fully immersed in the gameplay and learning how to do it. So I think people who probably started with Dead Space Two would have, um, would 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 score it higher than those who started with Dead Space One. But both games, I mean, if I gave this game a, a rating out of ten, I'd give this game, uh, you know. A high, high eights, eight, eight, eight point eight, eight point nine, a high eight. You know, if I go with one place past the decimal point, like an eight point eight, eight point nine, somewhere in that range. I gave the Metro Last Light and Metro 2033 eight and a half. I gave them both eight and a half each. And the only reason I didn't score them any higher was the Metro games. Um, a lot of, a lot of times the shooting was kind of like being in a shooting gallery. You were just basically mowing stuff down. And uh, there was a lot of long, prolonged, protracted cutscenes where they forced you to go through the whole scene. This game was more moved quicker, more quickly. I'm still rating games. That's right, Wolf. I'm still rating games. It's the quicks rating. 
I give it the quicks rating of approval. I give, I give, uh, I give dark, uh, dead. Oh my god! I give Dead Space Two the quicks stamp of approval, quick seal of approval. <laughs> How did you? Which one did you like better, Wolf? One or two? Dead Space One or Dead Space Two? Hey, Joey, what's going on? Congrats on beating us on normal mode. Now you got to try the hardcore mode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, there are some passages in here that would be really rough in hardcore mode. Maybe everything. Well, not having enough health would be a problem. And I, you know what? I bought too much health. Definitely uh, D. Hayes had the, the right move with the pulse weapon. That pulse weapon was super OP in the last boss fight. The, boss, the last boss fight in Dead Space 1 was harder. Um, but maybe it's because I was on hard mode. But beating the last boss in Dead Space 1, I think, was harder than Dead Space 2. Um, or, you know, I just got lucky in catching up what the mechanic in Dead Space 2 was quickly. I knew that I had to basically knock her down and then knock out the, knock out the ball in the middle of the marker. Dead Space 2 should have been a great title. Dark Space 2. Well, we were talking about that. Well, we said Dark Space 2. That should be like Dark Souls in Space. They should do a Dark Souls in Space. I think that would be super cool if they did something like that. But it'd have to be like a Frumps... Oh, Dork Space 2. Oh. Dork Space 2. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's a game that I'd probably be really good at. <laughs> they need to do a From Software sci-fi version of Dark Souls. I think that would be fun. I think a lot of people would be into that. They kind of tried it with... The Surge, I guess The Surge was kind of a futuristic, uh, Dark Soulsy game, but a lot of people said The Surge was shitty, because it was really, well, people said The Surge was good, but it was super repetitive, that's what I heard. People said Surge was good, but super repetitive. Am I going to play Dead Space 3, Joey? No, I'm not going to play Dead Space 3. A lot of people told me it's not worth playing, that it's really a co-op game, and, what, and whatnot. So, I don't know when you came in, Joey, but what we're going to do is I'm letting the credits roll to the end, just chatting with you guys. Then I'm going to shut the stream down for about five minutes so I can switch over games, and then I'm going to, for the break, so our break will basically be the, sh the stream going down for about five minutes, and I'm going to come back up with, uh, with Dying Light. We're going to play Dying Light. Two people who don't know what they're saying. <laughs> What's all this? Honored to join this a lot. Love you, Crystal, Joanne, Dieppe, and Honk. Look at all these, like, uh, notes to people who are, I guess, developers in the game. Thanks. These are all the thanks. Thanks to, thanks to, thanks to. Please don't kill me in my sleep. Respect. Shanghai, Mrs. Jack. Look at all these notes. Special thanks to my brain. <laughs> Special thanks to my girlfriend. Special to, thanks to my girlfriend for giving me my little boy. <laughs> Thanks to Sandy for teaching me the Chinese tongue. What does that mean? Uh. I like the way it's all translating from uh, from the marker script. There's no. Is there any post credit, or is it just gonna go straight to? Uh, is it just gonna go straight to? Like, what do they do? NG plus or something? Two thousand and two, two thousand and three. This game was a good for skipping Dead Space Three. It's definitely not as good. A lot of people said that, Joey. A lot of people said that. They said it's more like co-op-y, arcade style, like more fun for like co-op playthrough and stuff. So I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna give a pass on Dead Space Three. This is flight oh, here we go. G9 to control. We have completed the flyby. There's nothing left. I repeat, Titan Station has been completely destroyed. And the marker. Negative. Nothing survived this, sir. Marker site 12 is a total loss. Pity. Recall all flights and return to base. The other sites will have to pick up the pieces. Save your progress. You must save your progress to unlock the new game mode. Okay. So what should we put it on? I, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Let's let's put it on the top. Uh, the top save was before I sold the pulse rifle, but the pulse rifle turned out to be a good move. 
So I don't really need the top save. The bottom, the bottom save and the third save are the last, the last sections. Of the one is at the store, and the other one is the final fight. So I might as well put it on a top save. Prototype suits unlocked. Elite suit versions and security suit variants unlocked in New Game Plus. Look for new items. That was the suit you were talking about, right, guys? Look for new items in the store and for schematics lost in the sprawl to get access to this experimental technology. And I'm assuming that when you do a New Game Plus, all of those lockers and things that had the red lights on them, all the stuff that you couldn't open, now become openable? Is that what happens? Or is it just exactly the same playthrough, only harder, and those lockers are not openable? Hardcore mode. You have unlocked hardcore mode in which you will find the bare minimum of health and ammo to stay alive. When you die, you restart from your last save. You can only save three times. So that's a new mechanic. That's one of the reasons why you guys didn't want me to... Uh... Oh, no, I only ever used two, though. I only ever used two, so that wouldn't have mattered to me. Or is it a total of three times for the whole playthrough? Once I've, once I've clicked save three times, they won't let me click it anymore. Or does it mean three slots? I don't know. New Game Plus. You have unlocked the New Game Plus mode. Suits and weapons from your prior playthrough will be available in the first store. Done. Done. There it is, boys. Okay. So there's no more credits after that. Let's, uh, let's take our first break of the day right now. Three saves, and you cannot save anymore. Wow. Wow. So you, once you hit save three times, it's not slots. Once you hit save three times... Done. You're finished. So you gotta. So basically, you want to pick a save. Uh, you want to go as deep into the game as you can without saving. And then when you get to a point where you're like at an impasse and you're forced to grab a save, you grab it and then go as far as you can without saving and same and rinse and repeat and try to get through with three saves. Wow. So when you hit that final third save, you're like, uh, shit. This is it. I gotta make it all the rest of the way with no more saving. Wow. That's cool. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to shut the stream down for about five minutes because I need to switch the game over. I need to switch the title over and stuff. We haven't taken a break yet today anyway. So let's grab the break right now. Everybody go get yourself some pizza, sandwiches, food, whatever you want. A coffee, tea, juice, beers, whatever. I'm going to get another coffee too. And I'm going to come back. I'll bring the stream back up with Dying Light and we'll play Dying Light. I'll see you guys in as fast as I can do it. Probably about five minutes, guys. I'll see you then. <laughs> 